2020 has been, well, different. In-person has now become via Zoom, and a lot of people are working from home. Hi everyone, I'm Stone Freeman, and normally I'd be inside the Thomas M. Ryan Center in Kingston, bringing you this year's Rhode Island Women's Basketball preseason preview. But again, this year has been different. Now, there is an optimistic side to looking at the word different, and that's to look at things as new. Last year, the Rams welcomed a new head coach in Tammy Reese, and they turned a new page. And this year, the Rams are looking to turn some heads. If you scouted us next year and you go, oh, we're playing Rhode Island again, well, you might as well take that scout, rip it up, and throw it out. We're not doing anything um, the same way. So I'm excited about that because what you're about to see, this is who I am. This is who we are as a coaching staff, not just me. Rhode Island head coach Tammy Reese spent her first season in Kingston creating a new culture for her program. That culture shift led to the Rams doubling their conference win total from the season prior. As she approaches year two at the helm, Reese has a lot to look forward to in her squad. What excites me about this group the most um, is just their, their love of the game. Um, they play the game with a passion because they love it and a competitiveness that you can't teach. You can't teach that um, to somebody. You know, some kids get a scholarship and they do it to get an education. Some kids do it because they're just good at it, but they don't love it. This group, most of them, they love it. They breathe it. They eat it. They can't wait to get on the court. Senior Marta Vargas will lead Rhode Island. Vargas missed all of conference play last season after suffering a season-ending foot injury. She was also named a captain for her senior season. She used last year as an opportunity to strengthen her basketball knowledge off the court. Yeah, it was definitely tough. You know, the first time I was injured in my life, I had to kind of take another role on the team, um, more of like encouraging my teammates and stuff like that. There's a lot of stuff that we don't really get to notice when we're playing or you know when you're looking at it um, from the sidelines it's just you can see the whole game as a whole and and so it definitely so, some stuff about like uh, basketball IQ I can I could develop it and then not really about just really basketball the fact that like I wasn't playing and I couldn't play it um it really made me um realized that I couldn't really take it for granted, you know? You know, last year, I think something that hurt us tremendously um, was Marta Vargas going down. Something I'm really excited about this year is her return. Um, and something I can tell you, Stone, this kid, she works her butt off. She lives in the gym. Um, I'd get calls, you know, hey, coach, your point guard in here on the gun. It's 1030 at night. Man, there's like 500 shots on the gun. That's the type of person and player Marta is. And so to see her back on the court, and she looks great, but that's because she put the work in. This year, the Rams welcomed three transfers who all sat out last season. And Johanna Muzzy, a grad transfer from Washington State. Marie Paul Fopassi sat out all of last year after transferring to Rhode Island from Syracuse. Despite having not played since March of 2019, She'll be a key piece to the Rams' success this season. MP's had this, this career where she had a one season, a little window that she played. She got injured. She didn't really play. She came down here, sat another year. MP has not played a full season yet at, after being in school for three years. And so just like Marta, I am so excited for people to see this young woman play. And again, MP is very, very good, very versatile. She's a team leader. She won the gold medal in the World Beach Games last uh, year with uh, France, three on three. Um, and MP is just, again, she's a winner. Um, and so I can't wait for people to see her step on the floor and uh, actually play a full season. Getting the habit of getting back to the normal season, you know, playing two games uh, in a week, like having to... I don't know, manage my body, like um, be careful because I didn't play since a long time. So I know it's going to be like harder for me this year to come back and be in that kind of rhythm. But um, I just here just to give my best every day and just pushing my, myself better. And as long as I can help the team with my strength, I'm all good. With the culture established and the roster forming into place, the Rams have pretty big expectations on the horizon expectations and goals 
that they all can agree upon. My goals for the team are definitely uh, winning the A-10s. I feel like we, we really do have a team that can do it. We want a winning season. We want to win the A-10 regular season. We want to win the A-10 championship tournament. And we want to go to the NCAAs. Yeah, we have goals. Like we want to win the A-10 uh, conference. We, have, we want to go far away as we can in the NCAA tournament. So I feel like if we can give the best each every, uh, every day, I think we're going to make it. In a world of uncertainty, Reese and her staff have established a program where having each other's back isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity. Family and team are everything. Um, not just like-minded people because, you know, usually you have 15 people, you have support staff and you have your coaching staff, and you're not always all going to agree. But hopefully you have a strong enough culture that you're tolerant, you can listen to each other, and no matter what, you have unconditional love, kindness, and compassion that you support each other. There's a lot of excitement surrounding the URI women's basketball program heading into the 2020-2021 season. And that excitement begins on November 25th.